First week post spring ball. How's everybody feeling? Absolutely swell. Feeling good. Feeling, feeling good. good. Feeling great. Ooh. Okay. Let me see. Spring ball started. Was it March thirteenth? No, oh, it flew. It flew by. by. It went by fast. Yeah. This whole semester's gone by really fast. I feel like I'm like the spring break in the middle helped. Mm-hmm. I mean, I agree. Was this your first time having spring break in the middle? I did it last year. It was my did it last year. We had spring break the week before it started. That was rough. That's rough. Mm-hmm. That was rough. But it was nice to have like a little bit of a break. Facts. Kind of like clear your head, get back into like a little little routine. Yeah. I like having spring break after the first five practices because if you like roll your ankle and practice three or four yeah. and you don't have a week off, it just hurts yeah. for the it's rest of spring. It's worse, worse. Yeah, you're game, just screwed. Like, and then spring break, you get a little, the nicks and bruises get to heal up. Yeah. 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 Mind refresh. I agree. What, was this spring number three? Two. Two. I did an early enroll. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's crazy. Spring two, oh. B year three. Wow. Yeah. What about you, Taylor? What spring was this for you? You're not that old. I want to say four. Dang. Four. Was I early, like I early enrolled. <laughs> spring eight for you, bro. Like, is that four? This was spring four Crazy. because of what, COVID. What year are you? But it was my fifth spring I'm going semester. Going to be a senior. True or redshirt? So redshirt, redshirt junior. What year are you? Are you going yeah. into your third four. year? Four. Yeah. So you and yeah. Kudis are in the same graduating class. But he's a ju- he'll be a junior. I'll yeah. Be but you red so yeah, what, gra- what year did you graduate high school? Twenty two. Yeah, twenty two. Yeah, but I early enrolled. So mm. did not. Yeah. Glad I didn't. Honestly. <laughs> Why? Senior year of high school was fun. The second semester that. was was great. Lucky. I okay. had COVID. Y'all so lucky, bro. I Dude, no yeah, my, uh, That's rough. I graduated that's early. That does. And suck. then I got to go home for COVID. So, like, nobody got a second uh-huh. semester of their senior year. Plus, I was still getting my scholarship check. So, that's crazy. Crazy. he was living life. Like, every week I'd get like 150 bucks and I'd go buy, a, like, um, mulch. Because we were we were renovating my parents' backyard, because me and my brother didn't have anything else to do, <laughs> and so we bought like mulch and like little planters and shrubs and stuff. That's I wanted sick. to buy a, like a lemon tree, but oh, that's sick! When life gives you lemons, I don't know the rest when of the COVID same, though. Like it was bad, but it was pretty chill. It was chill. Nothing going on. It was just chill. Out. You just hop on the game during class. We definitely had it lucky. We did. Yeah. Five. Yeah. My hometown was the, uh, <coughs> it was like the epicenter for COVID deaths, either Jeez. in the state of Florida or in Gosh. the United States for a little bit, because we had, we had like two nursing homes that got wiped out and it was, it was bad. Jeez. That was it was rough. There's some peace. Thanks. But over here I am with my mulch and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> and your lemon tree. Yeah, you always got to keep it in perspective. Yeah. I always got to yeah. keep perspective. Man. But yeah, what was y'all's highlights from spring? What, what was your favorite part? Probably for seeing everything like kind of unfold, all the the work we did before, the playbook and the new new staff and new guys, just kind of the bonds we made, and then really just seeing like everything that we'd done that pre-spring mm-hmm. kind of come together. Yeah, so I mean, we start doing walkthroughs and like. The first week of February, where you're like, "Oh man, come on, we're back to football already." Yeah. But then you see how much that helps and how much oh, it builds mm-hmm. on itself. Dude, I couldn't imagine going straight into spring ball with no. Ooh. In this offense, I mean, there's a lot to it. It takes a good. Definitely top five, biggest, hardest playbooks in the country. Yeah, there's a lot of material. There is. A lot of material. That's not Dude, I can't, I can't even imagine what it's like for you. It's a lot of material, man. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you say stuff, and Keyshawn asks me, he's like, what play is that? And I was like, I have no idea. Just don't worry about it. Because <laughs> it's not to us. Well, I look at my binder and be like, golly, my binder's getting big. And then I'll see the quarterbacks with like two <laughs> binders that are like three times the size of mine. Not even close. Gosh. Yeah. Gotta love it, though. Yeah. Gotta love it. I take pride in that. Facts. Facts. But I enjoy it. I mean, just working with Petrino, for real. I mean, I learned so much in the last three months I've been here, Mm -hmm. you know, whether it's a run game or pass game. I mean, I felt like the whole spring, like, 
there was definitely some we did we was really good like consistent you know and the way we ended it in the spring game you know that's what that's what I liked you know um, yeah just it was fun you know it's out fun. there just in front of the fans and all that so figuring out whether it's three down or four down facts <laughs> facts man that spring game kind of snuck up on me yeah we had that what was a 10 play drive yes. and then the other <laughs> side went three and out and then we had a nine play drive yeah. and then it went three and out again and i was like we had Whoa. over 50 plays by half yeah right. i was like all right, like, all right guys come on let's get a first down sometimes, <laughs> yeah. sometimes an entire game's only like 60. Dude, i went to right. land and i was like dude like i i get it y'all are clamping them down let's uh let's <laughs> Ease off a little bit. Give us a little break. Yeah. <laughs> Joking. That's no. Nah, and the like the TV timeouts too. Yeah. I was mm. like, yeah. I wasn't used to that. In game though, TV timeouts, clutch. Great they can get. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like them. Really? I because I've been ready. I've been ready. ready. It depends when they come. That's yeah, true. It depends That's true. when. That's true. It depends when. Like you're ready to go. You're just like, God, like, like sometimes just if you're lucky minutes. and. So you're halfway through a drive and the other team calls a timeout or something. Mm-hmm. And they're like, you know what, we'll do a TV timeout. And yeah. you're like, okay. What Did like out? six plays. And now we get mm-hmm. a little break, get some water and go out and do six yeah. more to punch it in. What do you all think about the two-minute uh, warning? I like it. It has an extra timeout. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like Gives you time to prepare for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like it on offense. I yeah. don't like it for defense. Yeah. So yeah. it's all going to come out in the wash. But yeah. Oh, speaking of which, what, what what's your take on the the my uh, the spe- the headset in your uh, ear? Did you see the uh, picture of mm-hmm. Petrino yelling in my microphone? No. <laughs> Were hold you on. using it in the spring? Yeah, game? yeah. hold on, wow. I gotta I gotta show you. I didn't know. Yeah, that. I got I got to like use the little walkie talkie that goes in his ear. It's so fun. Really? I like yelled in it, and they were like, "Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so loud." Is it loud? When he's yelling in it, yeah, it's loud. So. It's loud. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Does it work during the play? Um, like it. Um, uh, so like he'll say it with like, say we're doing like no huddle. Like he'll say it, scream it, and I tell y'all. Then if I say like, do it again, then he'll say it again. But he normally like says it like two times, and that's pretty much it. But like he can't be like, hey, the wide receiver's wide open on the right side. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that like? System like technical, like, or I think it's a rule. rule. Hmm. No. I, mean, I don't feel like that'd be really helpful. I feel like I'd get kind of like frustrated if someone's yeah. yelling in my ear in the middle of a play. That was the two minute. Oh, that's crazy. We scored on that two minute, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. This was my first like actual <laughs> so like, spring game. Yeah, it's like a walkie talkie. Yeah. Like, I'd always had it. It was just a regular scrimmage. Mm-hmm. It was just like a like, regular scrimmage practice. And this was like the first time I've actually been in like an actual game. I feel like that was pretty cool. I like the game a lot. It How y'all awesome. feel about the, the black jerseys? I don't like them. Yeah. You don't like the black jerseys? I like one. I don't think what is they it? look that good. And two, if it's sunny, that's going to. True. If it's sunny, it's going to be super hot. Mm-hmm. True. Everybody does black jerseys. Yeah, uh, like even Florida has black jerseys. We Tennessee, played them. Yeah, Florida's black jerseys now. were kind of tough. Tennessee, got them we played them when they had yeah. black jerseys. But not, black jerseys not a lot of people have anthracite jerseys, anthracite and I think that's one of the coolest things about Arkansas is our anthracite jerseys. I have no idea what that is. It's a like a dark gray. Uh, it's really cool. It's really cool. No, I, what I want to see being brought back is the metallic helmet. I think yeah. that looks. I wish crown. Crown. Yeah, those those like are. a bunch of the old school looks, like the. Cowboys one that was pretty cool. I just like funky jerseys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like I, my first two years. We played in a different like color set every week, and you know the fans like it too. Yeah, they love it even mm-hmm. from a business standpoint. Like you can sell those jerseys. So I don't see why they wouldn't do yeah. it. You know. Yeah, we did pretty good last year with mixing and matching, though. We did it a lot more than what I've heard Coach Pittman used to do. Freshman, or my freshman year, it was just. Classic, like mm-hmm. red, white, or we never went all white, so it was red, white, or white, white with a right with a red helmet. Let me so. see. We went all red <laughs> against LSU. That was really and cool. he was I liked the he red. was like uh, all, all red means something. Like if we wear all yeah. red, you got to go out and perform. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, we we lost the game, but we st- yeah we didn't do enough to win, but we still performed semi decently for yeah. sure. So we didn't live up to the standard. So I hope we can get uh 
second chance. A second chance. Yeah, yeah redemption. Sure. Yeah, for sure. Redemption. Next year with it. And then um, Texas A&M, did we go our white with red pants? No, no I think all we white. white, red, white. So how does that work here? Like at Tennessee, we had a leadership council within the team, and they would they would pick what we wore for the vol walk, which is like y'all's hog walk. Hmm. It would be like uh, track suit, casual, business casual, like business professional, whatever. And then they would also pick the the um, uniform scheme that we'd wear. It would be like orange and white, white, white white, orange, stuff like that. Is it kind of like selected by the players here? Or is I don't it? know. I'm pretty sure it's all Coach Pittman. I, I know the say, hog walk stays the same. It's hog all it's uh, button-down shirt, Slides, jacket. You have to wear jacket. a jacket, but you don't have to wear a tie. Yeah. So, like, last year I wore, like, a Hawaiian shirt underneath a, a jacket, like, pretty much every game because it was comfortable. And then away games, it's track? So it, yeah. No. Away it's, games, it's suits suits on the plane. And then two years ago, it was if you won – you wore tracksuits home, and if you lost, you wore suits home. Oof. But Coach Pittman changed that last year, and it was it was just just it was tracksuits track no matter what on the way yeah. home. Yeah. No, but I don't. I think it is mostly all Pittman. But I think I don't know. Do the players have any say? I mean, I I was a new transfer last year, so I didn't have any say. I, it's usually like the. If it were, it'd be the, the guys who've been here for a or couple like years. KJ or Lane. It was like the captains. Yeah. I think maybe they have a little bit of say, but most all of it's Pittman. I think they can influence it. Like, I think they said, hey, we want to wear all red. And Coach, so Coach Pittman thought about it. And he was like, you know what? Because you remember uh, Trajan. Yeah, Trajan walked out, in. Which, that was pretty <laughs> high, dude. We had a team meeting. And this was what, like the Thursday or something before? Mm hmm. And. One of our DNs was missing. They're like, oh, like he's caught in traffic or something. Was it Thursday or was it Friday? Maybe it was Friday. I don't know. I feel like it was, I don't know, whatever day. But everybody's like, oh, okay. And then he shows we're wearing the all red. And we're like, oh, let's go. And then doors open. He comes in wearing the all red. That's it's tough. tough. It's That's tough. tough. It was a cool moment. Yeah. Obviously, we were all white. But then everything else was standard. Yeah. A lot of it was standard, but they did do, like, mixed match. Like, Ole Miss was cool. We did um, red, white, uh, maybe white helmets or something. Something like that. All I remember is we wore red pants a couple times. I think because I hate my, – my red pants were yeah. terrible because it was – it wasn't a belt. It was the, uh, the, strong, the strings. Strong. And <clears throat> I hate those. But the thing about those is if, like, no matter the size, like, the – like actual like leg mm -hmm. of the pant stayed the same for the most part. Just the waist got bigger, mm. so it was tough. Cause like, I don't like it because you can't tighten it up. Yeah, so yeah. like my pants were always falling down, and then oh, at yeah. halftime, like go to the bathroom, you have to like Untie. and your gloves and your wrist yeah. tape like undo a little string. <laughs> I'll say the little like pain. belt when you, get, when you got gloves on, it's kind of hard to get that thing unlooped. Mm -hmm. It's way easier than the string, man. Oh, for sure. Struggling oh. tough. Speaking of going to the bathroom at halftime, that bathroom is nice. And the I didn't, in the I didn't stadium, get to see it on my visit. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The stadium locker room is pretty sweet. Five. Yeah. It's a uh, replica of the Cowboys stadium. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. That's pretty. Because cool. we don't we don't stay in the Cowboys locker room. We stay no. in the. Uh, well, obviously they they have like four different locker rooms. Yeah. yeah. Nobody stays in the Cowboys except for the just, Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. Just the Cowboys. So it's like two away locker rooms. They're still really nice. It's still, yeah, it's still really yeah, nice. It, uh, Huge lockers. Yeah. Huge I played lockers. there in my sophomore year of high school. That's where you are from Texas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Played against JJ. Nice. That dude's cold. He is really good. It's good having a guy like that running behind us. See, uh, I keep thinking they mean JJ Hollingsworth. <laughs> uh, I was thinking like Jaden Johnson, JJ. Yeah, Hollingsworth. there's so many JJs. There's a lot of JJs there on is. this team. But yeah, dude, he's JJ. It's nice having him back there. Yeah. In the, uh, the post spring game press conference, he's like, uh, from the 10, it should only take two plays to get the ball in. I was like, it should. Heck yeah. Five. I love his like, fire and passion that he has too. Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Motivated. He is really motivated. Another thing I enjoyed from the game is watching Taylor run. Every mm -hmm. step covers like five <laughs> yards. Yeah. Dude, I was, talking, I was talking trash to the defense. He's one of the DB. One of the DBs like reached out and tagged him, and they called him down. 
And I was running behind. I was like, you know, you couldn't tackle him. That's yeah. not a tackle. Yeah, no, it's yeah. not a tackle. It's that not a one tackle. where they called you and you were breakaway run. I was like, all right. In the game, not it's a touchdown. Yeah, I saw oh. someone say, uh, Taylor Green scored three touchdowns in the opening drive. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. That's funny. Three touchdowns in the opening drive. Hey, we'll see this fall. Hey, come out. Come out oh, to yeah. watch us. Come hey, Thursday it. night. Thursday, Thursday night. night. August Let's go. 29th. 29th. Yes, sir. What a way to start the season. What a way. Dude, I'm excited. A Thursday night game? That'll Thursday be fun. Thursday night football, baby. So, yeah. Dude, whenever JB we play in Little Rock, it should be <laughs> Thursday night. I agree. That is so genius. Yeah. Because, like, last year, playing on a Saturday, they moved it up. Because it was going to start at 1, right? And they moved it up to noon. I think so. <laughs> and we you still you don't get back till like, 8. Yeah. Because it's still it's a week. Yeah. yeah. And you got, you got a flyer drive. Point. Drive. Hey, anything oh, within three we drove. hours is... We drove. We drove. Anything, we anything three within hours drive. three hours is, yeah. Because it's forty, it's thirty-five to forty minutes to the airport, and then it takes thirty minutes to get up in the air, and then it's a forty-minute flight. Yeah. What well, also costs so much more. Oh yeah, sure. we uh, we drove to Liberty Bowl Christmas Day, all like it was probably five five and a half hours. Yeah, dude, that'd be rough. That was that was an experience. I drove. <laughs> Dude, on Christmas Day, that's just so sad. That's crazy. Yeah, we had a practice. We had a lift and a practice. And then it was like game day, shower, bus. And you're rolling. And it was the whole team, too. Mm. So we're packed out. You're like four buses deep of players. Yeah. Did you at least get your own seat? Um, you could get your own seat, but I think it was paired up or mm. something like that. Yeah, we always had it paired up. It's. So frustrating. It'd always be the bigs on the same bus. And yeah. You're sitting next to some big fatty, and you're just like, God, get me out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in your suit. Dude. The uh, buses get so hot okay, if you're like right next to each other. We got to wear track suits on them. Yeah, man. They, they I don't know. I like flying in a suit. Flying in a suit makes it feel like a business trip. Feel presidential. Yeah. For sure. And then you get those cool action shots, you walking up the stairs yeah, on the plane. Yeah, I one of those. Yeah. Those shots are so great, but like the wind just gets so crazy, and then you just look at the picture, and your hair is all just like wonky. <laughs> Did y'all see what uh, what's happening in Dubai? Yeah, that's with the airport. They got one year's Wait, worth what? of rain, and like, yeah. well, don't they days. like um, cloud seeding? Yeah, cloud seeding. Yeah, that's just well, like. I mean, I get why they do it because it's an arid climate, and they need more rainfall. But did they not calculate like how much rain to actually put? Yeah, I don't know. But that's what happened. So the, the, the airport. So the problem with dry countries is that the ground can't soak up the water. So if the ground's really dry, it can't soak up water. Like they, there's a video online that shows like if, like after a, if you have a, a rainy month and then it rains a lot, the ground soaks it up because it's used to having that much water. But then if you if you go through a drought and it rains, that's where flash flooding comes because it, the ground can't soak up the water. And so what happened is it had a year's worth of rain, and the airport. Well, one, it's m mostly all asphalt and concrete because it's an airport. And so it, it turned into like, it looks like an ocean because it's flat and there's nothing yeah. in the way. So that's it's just covered with water planes, so the planes like, can't take going off. Going in the water is insane. It's, that's crazy. Well, a few yeah. years back, they, I saw that this company created a, like, a type of asphalt that actually soaks up water. And they were testing it out in Florida, actually. And it's the craziest thing. Like The water hits it. And then it'll have like a little wet spot for a few seconds, and then all of a sudden it just looks completely dry. It like soaks it up. Like, that's a wild. That's yeah, that's ridiculous. That's a wild. Yeah. No, you gotta find the video of the planes like actually like yeah. going through. They're it. still trying. They're they're trying to land it in the water. You have to land yeah. it at that point. What, you can't. Yeah. Nah. Oh, cool. Now I think they're rerouting them, but yeah. Okay. And then like the cars and all that. that's crazy. Yeah. That's gonna be terrifying. You like never see rain, and then all of a sudden you're just getting flooded. All the rain. That place is crazy. They're like man-made islands and. Thanks. Dude, one of my uh, one of my classmates in the MBA program told me that they are. I think it's like five hundred billion dollars to build a ski resort, in the middle of, wherever Dubai is. Well, they're trying to build a new F1 circuit, and it'll be the first F1 circuit ever to be elevated. So I the first that. turn will be like off the ground like it'll go up dude dude it's like 20 stories high yeah it's 20? like mario kart yeah, it literally really is yeah. yeah and then you think about 
an F1 car going at that turn at Where 100, you crash? 100 something miles an hour and have Dude. one little slip and then a 24 <laughs> hole. You're done. Like, how do you, how they've do you got so that? much money. That's so crazy. That's crazy. Well, they spend billions of dollars on creating like man made islands for, for like houses and re- resorts and stuff like that. Don't they have a building that's like two buildings and then a boat on top? I'm pretty sure Dude. they have like a building with like a boat on top. It's like a mega yacht. They're like what like. I would do if I got a trillion dollars just to <laughs> start. Ah, I want an island right here. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, that's an ocean. Nope. <laughs> Not anymore. Is there a boat on top of two buildings? Could you try again? No. Sorry, uh, Siri. <laughs> it is crazy. Though. We have the technology to literally create islands in the ocean. Fuck. Dude, the fact that we can make rain. Mm-hmm. Okay, control climate. Yeah. That's insane. It's pretty cool. Like, I mean, it had a little bit of a downside. <laughs> kind of a big downside, but still. <laughs> yeah. The science that goes into cloud seeding, that's pretty cool. It's crazy. I feel like it'd be sick, though, to go there and get a dune buggy in the dunes. Yeah. Five. Like, those videos look sick. Those things got to be so tall. Because yeah, you look yeah. at it and the car looks like this small mm-hmm. and going up this massive sand dune. It's like dune. Dude. All of a sudden, a sandworm's going to come out and eat you. <laughs> I still got to watch the second one. Boo. Dude, yeah, have you That's seen the good. first one? Uh, All right, really good. I told I told your parents that we're taking you when it goes back to IMAX. Dude, cool. so good. Cool. I'd go watch it again. Go watch it again, right? Oh yeah, a little boy <coughs> trip. Dune was good. Dune was good. I know I talk about Dune a lot, but it's pretty good. It's just because it's good. He's read the books, so it's like oh, whatever I didn't we know don't understand in the movie, mm-hmm. we just ask him. Wait, so like, how many like books are there? So there's. There's two, gotcha. but there's more, but there's two. Gotcha. There's Dune, and then there's Dune Messiah, and that follows Paul Atreides, and then there's Children of Dune, um, and then they go through, like, the houses, like uh, House Harkonnen, House Carino, and then uh, there's one other one that I can't remember the name of, but you just need to read the first two. If but, Speaking of movies, have you guys heard about the new Deadpool coming out? Deadpool and, is it Deadpool and Wolverine? It's not versus, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently they were supposed to have, like, it was going to be one of the biggest cameo movies ever. They're going to have, like, everyone from any every Marvel movie ever in it. But because of the strike going on, they couldn't do it. Oh. Is that still going on? Yeah. That's why there's really no movies out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, yeah, uh, uh, Susie and I, with my parents, went to see Civil War. The new, uh, that new movie. Y'all heard about it? Mm-mm. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. It's like a, it, it's if there was another Civil War in America. I love like war movies, like The Patriot Man. Oh, oh that's a great movie. Dude, that's a great Mel, movie. Gibson's, Mel Gibson's, his movies slap. Yeah. Very underrated. Patriot, Braveheart, mm-hmm. Signs, solid. Yeah. Force Gump. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Classic. 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 Not fully a war movie, but. Yeah, it's still got Marshall. Oh, Rambo. Oh, we everyone who went to the eclipses here, except for you, Kudis. I watched. Yeah, we asked him to come, and he just said yeah, no. Kudis said he's he's lifetime, too cool for an eclipse. Yeah, once in a lifetime. Once there's another one in 2045 that I didn't know about. Oh, really? It goes yeah. right through Florida. Okay. Like it goes right through there. Tallahassee in my home, like my hometown. Speaking of which, your glasses are at my house. Oh, you can keep them. Those glasses. I won't need them for 24. 21 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call you up in 21 years and be like, yo, Addy, where's my glasses at? I'll, I'll ship them to you. Next day shipping. Next day shipping? Well, no, Dude, maybe. 20 years, I'll probably maybe have Maybe we'll teleport or. Yeah. yeah. Just like zap them there. Yeah. Just imagine like what we've accomplished in like our <clears> lifetime, <throat> like what we could do in 20 years. Yeah. True. But it's great. Like I watched a, PK's watched it. It's called Three Body Problem. Mm-hmm. And and part of it, like the the alien was talking about how, <clears throat> like, it took like civilization like nine thousand years or something to, like, get like fire or something, and then another thousand or, or to get agriculture, mm-hmm. and then like another thousand to uh, get something else, and then ever since then it's been like five hundred to get like the indus- industrial era, another like fifty years to get to nuclear war, another like twenty years to get to AI. It's like. Like how much shorter of a time period are we going to be until mm-hmm. we're at the, like the next like thing mm-hmm. that I don't know. Yeah, 
It's like I feel like everything in the past like hundred years is if you go back a hundred years from now, I don't think anyone could imagine like what we have. Wow. True. It was a good you would really like it. Three body but I, I should watch it. Yeah, you should. you'd really like it. It'd really fire those neurons in there. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That's what I like. Let me see, where where did we go? We went to Cole Hill, Arkansas. Yeah. Cole Hill. We went to so any of y'all any any listeners from Cole Hill? We Shout were in out. your neck of the woods for the Shout eclipse. <clears throat> what did you think of it, Taylor? I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, it was like completely dark. Got a lot of got like cold. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like you were telling us it was gonna drop, but I didn't I didn't think I'd actually be able to feel it like that. Yeah. But it was it was nice. It was nice. I wish I could have stayed like that for a while. Mm. Yeah, I agree. We had a lot longer than we expected. Like we were expecting like yeah. three, four minutes, and it was like five, six. Because I, I was gonna start a timer so we could keep track of how long it was going, but then I forgot to hit start. And so <laughs> after like a minute, I looked down and said, like, "You know what? I'm just gonna start it." So I started it, and then when it hit two minutes, I was like, "Okay, it's about to be done." So I turned it off because online said where we were it was only supposed to be like three minutes and thirteen seconds, and then it just kept going. Yeah. Which. Not I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> but because uh, me and my dad were talking about it, and there was someone, whenever I say, uh, like, I read an article or I saw it online, it's pretty much just Twitter. So someone on Twitter said, uh, or X, someone on X said, there you go. the fact that <coughs> he's like, if you want to look at it, for, if you want to look at um, extraterrestrial life and aliens from the perspective of, do you know how rare a solar eclipse is? Because they showed a picture of, um, I want to say Jupiter, and one of Jupiter's moons eclipsing the sun. And it was like the sun was here, and the moon fit like barely inside. Like it barely covered. It didn't even, it covered like not even a quarter of it. And so he's like, if there were aliens and they knew about Earth, they definitely would come watch a solar eclipse because it's not as common as you think it is. Well, yeah, if the moon is just a few thousand miles in an, another yeah. direction, another spot, we don't get a full eclipse. Exactly. That's crazy. That's why uh, the eclipse is my dad's new, um, what's, it, what's it called Passion. when your proof for God is uh, in nature? I got to look this up. Faith, belief. <laughs> Faith. Um, there is a lot of stuff that like points to God facts. in nature. Fuck. I remember seeing something like in, within DNA, like I can't remember exactly what it was, but basically like DNA reads out the the name Yahweh, hmm. which is That's like tough. God. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah, I was reading, um, it's like ling linguistically Yahweh doesn't have any consonants. And so the first part of the word is supposed to, well, the word itself is supposed to s like signify breath. It's so, like when you <sighs> inhale, it's like you're Yah, like. And then when you exhale, way. it's way. So you go. <sighs> mm -hmm. And so anyway, that was, oh, sure. they were like oh, linguistically, yeah. it's supposed to class. make a little okay. puzzle. Junior year. Okay. Speaking of solar eclipses in the Bible, like when Jesus was crucified, they said that the world went dark for multiple days. Mm. Maybe they had like a solar eclipse. Mm. A mega eclipse. Mega eclipse. So. Nah. Chad GPT said natural theology, but there's a... There's a higher academic Chat word for GPT. it. Chat GPT. <laughs> He's going to be the first one to get Chat P GPT 5.0. Dude, who do you think is running our Bible study tomorrow? <laughs> By the way, we're GPT. having a Bible study tomorrow, Taylor, and you're invited. What time? Uh, 5.30. Where at? My house. You better have I'm tamales. There. No, we're, uh, we're getting rights. Let's go. Ooh, that's what I thought it was going to be. I actually so need tough. to text him a head count because. It's so tough, dude. I'm yeah, there. hey, shout yeah. out rights. Yeah, shout out rights. Right. Jordan rights. Big. Always repping, bro. Dude, I knew I should have wore that shirt Always today. Repping, man. I, knew Always right. I picked it up and I was like, nah, I'm gonna. You're go gonna back. wear the same one. Yeah, we could have twins so hard. <sighs> twin things. Y'all are kind of twins right now too. Twin, you know. We uh, great minds think alike. Hey, we are twinning. Twin things. Twin things. We we're also twinning with uh, Jazz and them at the the thing we were just at. Jazz. They were all wearing. No. The guy with the camera who was filming. Jazz. Oh, I didn't know they that. They were both wearing these shirts. I didn't know that. It's popular. Dude, I like this shirt. It's lightweight. 
Really? Dude, I'm the, not a huge fan of like I love how those shirts feel, but like all the research coming out from like the material that is made out, it's just like plastic. It's like really bad for your body. Mm. Like I just gotta take it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, we were talking about how the hot tub's bad for fertility. Like that material is like bad for fertility. Dude, everything's bad yeah, for fertility. Everything's bad for everything yeah. nowadays. Dude, the uh, the trainers during COVID at my school, I was like semi serious. I was like, you know, what if what if people get the vaccine and then it turns into children of man, and everyone's just sterile now, and they're like, oh, that's not going to happen. There's no adverse side effects. I'm like, okay. There's like there was like a major problem in England for infants <coughs> being born with like. Like heart defects after the vaccine. Yeah, it is serious. It's pretty scary. Like, were y- y'all weren't in college during the vax? No. Were you? Well, I was. Like, yeah, they 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 were like pushed it really heavily mm. when I got there. Yeah. Like, Did you do like tests every week? Yeah. Did you feel pressure to get vaccinated? I just it was the thing we had to do. Yeah, so like you didn't even think you had a decision. It was just you have to get vaxxed, yeah. Mm-hmm. We, uh, they told us, they were like, you don't have to get vaxxed, but if you're not vaxxed, we don't, we don't know if you can fly with us. Yeah. And so they're like, we may have to bus you separate. And I was like, I'm still trying to like make a seat on the bus or the plane. So Thanks. I wasn't giving them any excuse to yeah. not travel me. Hmm. They're, they, they told us, it was like, if, you don't, if you're not getting it, then you're like hurting the team. You're putting the whole season in yeah. jeopardy. Like yeah. You could destroy the whole team's dreams. And like, dang. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. I was like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, I'm not. High school yeah. is, if you don't have it, you're not playing. Really? Well, the All American Bowl, our senior year. That's right. They, uh, they required it and wouldn't let you go if you didn't have it. And then they tested every day. And it's kind of like a karma moment. By day two, they admit they had lost like seventy five percent of the players to positive tests, and they were all vaccinated. Dang. I was like, "Jokes on you." Did you do any? Uh, you do any bowls or anything, Taylor? Uh, like bowl games? Yeah, like our. Um, so like crazy story. So we went to we were supposed to go to the Barstool Bowl. Um, it was a bowl. It did, like it did for like two yeah, years. two years. So it was like in Arizona. <clears throat> So we was practicing. Then it was like our last practice before we was about to head out. And just one one by one, like our trainers would like pick some, like pick people. Cause we everybody had to test. Cause we went home. It was after I wanna say it was after Christmas. So we went home for Christmas and everybody came back. Then we tested around when we got there, then we was practicing. So the trainers would walk into the like indoor facility where we was practicing and like Side talk to like one person, got it, got it. So like at the end of the practice, we only had like twenty people on the team. <laughs> so then, did you think at some it. point they'd call practice? They called yeah. it. They called it after like so many, like so many people tested positive. Yeah, yeah I remember we were going through camp in twenty twenty, and they were talking about how so many teams couldn't practice because twelve O linemen got it, and they only yeah. had like. Six. So you can't you can't just have six O linemen run a hundred and twenty plays yeah, in no. a row. Like pods inside <laughs> team force blitz. Just bat, 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 bat. Golly, imagine. It's crazy how like we take it for granted that now we don't have to like deal with it anymore. Because mm-hmm. it was I'm wild. Trying to say that come August or whatever, there's going to be another even more I saw that viral dangerous. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's an election year. They're going to say yeah. everything. Ah. It's crazy. It was like something like, something X. I was like, all right. Yeah. Here what lab was this created in? <laughs> yeah. Well, what, do, what, do, what do y'all think about Aaron Rodgers saying that uh, the government created HIV in the 80s? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> created? Uh, I don't know. Aided in the AIDS. <laughs> aided in the AIDS. <laughs> I mean, I think if you look <clears throat> through history, it would be naive to say the government doesn't do shady stuff. Yeah. So well, like, why is it j- like just showing up now? Like, yeah, it's kind of hard to get. Really, like, mm. it's not like an airborne virus where 
I can understand like something oh, yeah, viral I mean, you have to... where it's like, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it's very specific in what and how yeah. you contract the disease. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sure. difficult to get. But um, I mean, if you look at, I mean, they're just now coming out with stuff about JFK's assassination with uh, how um, uh, it was something that was coming off the gold standard, and then he was trying to get us back on the gold standard, and then they did. Or was that the Titanic? There was something the Titanic. If uh, you look at it, and there was the insurance, and they're like, "Oh, is it really the Titanic?" And then I saw that. Yeah, yeah you saw it was that. Like the Olympia or the Olympic or something yeah. like that. Yeah, like really identical. Titanic. And then there was three of the biggest, or three people, three of the biggest people in the opposition to coming off of the gold standard, which allowed for inflation and all, all of that, were on the Titanic and died in the Titanic. And so people are like, "Oh, is it really a yeah, iceberg, like, or was it a planned stuff assassination?" Like that, just like it's really tough for that to be like a coincidence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's also like that captain, like it's not like it's just his first time yeah, going dude. through something like that. It's not like some newbie captain, you know? No. Yeah. I get mistakes happen, but not like that. Yeah. I mean, shoot conspiracies go all the way back to Roman times. So true. Bro, I feel like the O lines, the biggest conspiracy theorist yeah. on the team. Dude, definitely last year. Oh, yeah. Bo yeah. Brady. Bo and Brady had some wild ones. Especially Brady, man. Mm-hmm. Always had something new every day. <laughs> it was good. Uh, it was good post-practice dinner talk. Mm-hmm. I was excited. Like, oh, I, yeah. That I was rush up there. Highlight like, of the day. I got to see at the table. Yeah. If, I mean, if you're taking a sweet time, you got to go sit by you yourself. Know, you don't bro. get in on the juicy conversations. You have no clue. Mm. I love a good old conspiracy talk. QBs, are they making the conspiracies? The room? No, not really. It's weird how different the team is room to room. Yeah. And that's not it's not just our guy. Like, it's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. It's just the type like of people who play the position. Room. Mm-hmm. And then how quickly that dynamic can change after one year. Yeah. Yeah, that's facts. Now you say they're not big conspiracy people? No, not really. What, what are the QBs, like, big into? Like, do y'all talk about music a lot? Because we don't. We yeah, rarely we really, talk about music. Yeah, I mean the biggest thing is like music or just like what you, what we think Petrino's going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the biggest thing. That's fair. Speaking of music, one thing that was I really enjoyed about the the meeting room at Tennessee was we had music every meeting. Like our coach had this thing where like he, he he couldn't be in a meeting without music, so he always had something in the background. And every day, like every meeting. Like if we had two meetings in a day, like it'd be a different person each meeting. He'd go around the room, and like each person would get to like pick what we played for the meeting. It was always really cool because you're cool. not just sitting That's in a cool. silent room sure. for an hour and a half. You got something in the background. Yeah. Hmm. That's nice. It's not like super loud, but it's like some. Coach like, Kennedy cool. was good at having music. For yeah, we had so. not just before; it'd be during the meetings. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it was huh. like in like the meeting. Like uh, when we had scrimmages, <clears throat> the meeting. Whenever we were done going over stuff, we would listen to music for like mm-hmm. 10 minutes just to get ready. You know who's the best at that? Coach Fountain. Really? Always, yeah, oh, yeah. Special teams being, he's always got some hype music going on. Dude, his, uh, his videos are great. The I Friday, videos, the Friday yeah. uh, special teams breakdown. Where, uh, what movie was it last year? Dude, it was, like, it was a new movie every week. It was it awesome. It was great. And it would be like... Uh, It'd be like attack your position or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm. I'm not on the special team, so I don't. I wasn't really paying attention. But then it would show like a war movie, and they were like clearing rooms and like. Mm-hmm. Choo, choo, choo. It's so cool. Yeah, it's like gunners downfield. Choo, 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 choo. It was yeah. funny. There was one. It was. Uh, I think he did Saving Private Ryan. That's one it. time, and it was yeah. great. That's tough. Coach Fountain's a troll. It's funny. <laughs> Dude, it was funny. Post practice, we're on our knee. All right, man. God. Embrace the hog over here. The <laughs> Punt return, kickoff return over there. That's the yeah. Last week of ETH. If you want it, go get you some. When I first got here, and we we called up practice, and we broke it down, and then they're like, "All right, Coach Fountain's got extra for the special teams guys." He called out like every single player, like had to do something, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Where's everyone going?" Because the O line didn't. It was just all like kickoff, kick return, punt, punt return. It was funny. He he cracks me up. He, no, he's he still struggles with people's names. 
Dude, I it's remember. It's the funniest thing. We had um, a receiver. His name was Sam Mbake. Could not pronounce Mbake to save his life. So we called him Shake and Bake. Shake and Bake. <laughs> yeah. What was, the, what's that, what was the movie? The, the, the something bastards? Inglorious, Inglorious. Inglorious Bastards. He reminds me of the, uh, I forgot his name, the main character with the mustache. The oh, what's one with the, the Brad Pitt? Trump. Yeah, Brad Pitt. Yeah. 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 Brad Pitt. In the entire movie, he's like, bar ham or struck. <laughs> like, he reminds me of him with like his accent. He just says it like it's so American. Arriva Derchi. Arriva Derchi. Boy, Italian. <laughs> I'm Italian. Yeah, I speak the first Italian. <laughs> the, uh, he thought. Tommy Varhol, oh when when Tommy got here, <laughs> and it went from when Tommy got here in January of last year until about week three in the season. Yeah, he thought his name was Varn Hill. So on all this special team <laughs> stuff, it was V A R N H I L L. What about Black, Blackstone? Blackstone. <laughs> Keyshawn Blackstone. Oh man, he's making me want to go uh, grill. It's my bocce going. Yeah. <laughs> Make some omelets for breakfast. Yeah, so you you got a blackstone, right? Yeah, you use it a lot. Uh, yeah, I've used it a few times. I don't use it too too much. I'm gonna use it this week. I'm getting some steaks the summer. this weekend, and I probably have the guys over get something going. Mm. The summer is the best time. Summer's to use gonna it. be a great time for blackstone, dude. We need to go to, um, I forget the name of it, but it's uh, it's uh, it's the White River. It's like 15 minutes south of my apartment. <coughs> oh, yeah, they've, got, yeah. they've got grills and stuff. We need to have an O-line like, grill out. That would be pretty cool. Brock was going to do a <coughs> shrimp bowl after the spring game, but fell through. Mm. After the spring game is hard because a lot of people go with their parents. And then yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. shrimp bowl is a lot of work for like two people. I was like, do you know how to do shrimp bowl? He's like, yeah, man, it's not that hard. Like, uh, it's all right, easy. Rock. I don't know how to do it. Does he, does you he get the bag. The, He's got a big old pot. But but does he have like the, the the strainer that goes yeah. inside? Oh, okay. That thing's been sitting in our house for like a month and a half. I'm like, dude, what are we doing? Dude. You know? Yeah, my uh, my mother in law did that. She gave me a big pot, and I had no idea why she gave us a big pot. And then we made tamales in the big pot, and I'm nice. like, oh, thank, thank, good. thank the Lord for this big yeah. pot. Yeah. Because I uh, I made like pulled pork, but not like good pulled pork. I like did it in a, a pressure cooker because I don't have my Traeger here, and hey, I didn't want to get the freaking Traeger up, dude, dude. It's a lot of work to bring it thirteen and a half hours away to Ooh. only have it up here for a year, or just because anything your, I move up here, I'm going to have to move up. one day. True. Hit my boy up. You're gonna have to move it eventually. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Hey, Traeger Gator, if you know any friends who are Traeger Razorback, shout, shout us out. Let's hook us help. up. Hook us up. Yeah. Hook us up, please. Yeah. We love to cook I got, meats. I got three meats. years. I'll take a Traeger. I'll hook the boys up. <laughs> yeah, Traeger. Blackstone won't do it. I've contacted them a couple times. Yeah. Bro, honestly, they're in like Utah, Weber. right? I'd take a nice good little Weber grill. A Weber? Yeah, Weber. Let's Hot take. Kamada Joe is better than Big Green A. I'm just not that big of a fan of you. I don't know what Kamada Joe is. It's like the, the quote, <laughs> knockoff of the green egg, and it's so much better. It's red. It's like the same same look, same everything, but it's like it's like our colors. Oh, yeah, Kamada Joe. We need to... Uh, and I, it's like half the price of a green mm-hmm. egg. They're incredible. They're what, so great. What is, what is a green egg for? Smoking, grilling. You can do anything on it. Oh, it's like a grill, grill and smoke? But it, it, it's not propane. It's... Coal fire. It's oh, cool because okay. like you can put like different types of wood in there to get like mm-hmm. a cherry wood or like a nice smoky flavor on something. Because yeah. my first O line coach in college, uh, Coach Hevesy, was really into Big Green Egg. He had a friend who worked there or something and gave him gave him like a bunch of stuff for free. Yeah, they're hard to use, but they you can get so much more out of it. Yeah, that you can't do on like a propane grill. Because the Traeger, you can grill on it if you need to, but it's definitely more s- for smoking. Yeah, I almost burnt down my uh, my in laws' shed. It was the grill was <laughs> next to it, and then uh, I didn't clean it well enough before grilling, and so all the juices and stuff started like a grease fire. Uh. Dude, I freaked like, out. Grease fires are crazy. It like exploded in my face, and I was like breathing in a bunch of smoke. Yeah. And then I had to go back to practice the next week. Grease, and fires, still are, hadn't like the grease fires are scary because you throw water on it, and that thing. Mm-hmm. 
You good? <laughs> we were going to stop, but there's r- really no point. There's four people. Yeah, what do y'all think of the four four person setup? Let us know in the comments. That's, no. That's what people say, right? Yeah, like, write it down in the comments. Like, follow, subscribe. All that. I need to do that, but I just hate it when people do that. Like, when I'm watching a YouTube video and they're like, at Leave the beginning, they're like, oh, I'll tell you this important thing after you like, follow, comment, subscribe, thumbs up. All that. Yeah, and I'm like, if you feel like liking it, go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. You why do not? you. Why not? See, that's why uh, I asked Taylor to join us kind of last minute. Yeah. It, name recognition, he does numbers. <laughs> He's, yeah, you're going to be on it like every time now. Yeah, that's okay. Whenever you're I'm free. No, I'm, you're gonna I'm, a, I'm attaching my, uh, my cable to his rocket ship and just going to the right, Let's go. Man. Let's get it. I'm here. Pause? No. We gotta oh. put like a cut out of him so every episode's. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like in the corner. It's like, yeah, he's, he's not talking much today. He just wants to stand <laughs> very feature. still. Yeah, very, very, very still. <laughs> Dude, he sleeps with his eyes open. <laughs> we, had a, we had like some family friends or something, and uh, we had a game in Nashville. And I met them at the hotel, and I walked through the doors, and there's two life size life size cutouts of me, like <laughs> in my crazy. jersey and all that. And we need to get a life size cutout. That's crazy. Then, like, walk around. It's the most terrifying the thing ever. My mom put it in my room, and I like walked in. Put it in I, your like, room. Wake, yeah, wake up in the middle of the night and just see a figure in the corner. And be like, oh. <laughs> is it more or less comforting that it's you? Or does that freak you out a little bit more? Luckily, I had a, that's a good question. Luckily, I had a helmet on, so I, I didn't uh, have to like, look straight at my face. But I feel like if there was no helmet; it'd be quite terrifying. Yeah, because mm. if I woke up and I saw myself, well, it was like the butch. I'd like freak out and be like, "Why am I not in my own butch body?" Jokes, like, so like, I, oh, there's butch yeah. Jones in my corner. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to look up a picture of Addison Nichols in high school, before the beard and long hair, the before and after. Yeah, when I hosted him on his OV, <laughs> it was it was something else. We were a little worried for him. But it was jumps. bad. It was bad. Yeah. Know, hey, not a lot of people stay, can pull off the beard and the clean shaven. The, I couldn't. I can't pull off the clean shaven. <laughs> not until I lose weight. I have a little bit of a chubby chin. Yeah. He's got to embrace it. Got to embrace it. Yeah. I don't know. The hair might go in, in a month or two, though. I don't know. I'm debating it. What are you thinking of doing? Like full shave or just trim it down? I just feel like if I gotta, I gotta embrace the center look, and that's just almost bald. Are we shaving our heads for camp again? <sighs> do we I should do the fade Rotha? I'd so be down. Uh, oh, we gotta that. do what's it? What's it called? The the high top? What? what like state patrol officers oh, have? Yeah. It's just like a little like flat top. And mm-hmm. <laughs> I gotta start growing my beard out for the season. So yeah, I miss your beard. The day you came in with no beard really scared me. I Dude, a lot of ready for it. a lot of the new guys didn't know who I was, yeah. huh. without the beard. You yeah. were a completely different person. Yeah, yeah. I saw you in the parking lot. I was like, "Oh, it's Braun." And then, like <laughs> double take. I was like, "Oh my god, that's Braun." <laughs> Crazy. You see jeans and Jordans. Yep. Jeans, jeans, jeans and Jordans. Jordan. Hey, I put that stuff on, man. Jeans and Jays. Dude, I bet you had some nice Jays coming from Florida. Dude. So, okay, well, I, I know how it's like. When you graduate, you get like the really nice ex- exclusive yeah. ones. Did you not get to get those? So it's not when you graduate, it's when your eligibility is up. So oh, whenever so you, you finish your college career, uh, whether that's age out or declare for the draft, then they send them to you. They don't want to send them to you now because, <coughs> excuse me, I mean, they're, they're a couple thousand dollars yeah. and people will sell them and it's against NCAA policy. So. Yeah. Oh, so you'll get you'll get pairs? Yeah, okay. I'll get two pairs. That's because they're oh. they're technically bowl gifts. So I'll get two for my first two years, and then third year I wasn't at the bowl, so I won't get a third one. But we had a my sophomore year, we had a guy who aged out the year before. I want to say he had an offer for about eighteen thousand dollars for four or five pairs of his shoes. That's all. Uh, of them. When I visited North so Carolina, so that was one of their pitches. They said, "When you graduate from here, you get." Four pairs of shoes, and you know what? They said yeah. on average they're around sixteen thousand dollars. Yeah, and that's because like, it's. I mean, that was before NIL, mm-hmm. so like that was a mm-hmm. big draw. You were like, oh, so when I'm done, I have that's a twenty grand in on. commodities to sell. Like, that's crazy. It's pretty big. 
Yeah. But see, it, it stinks because I'm not a, I'm not really a Jordans guy. So my wife like has to make me wear them, or else I'll just sit in, yeah. in our closet, not in our in our outdoor closet. There, oh. there. <laughs> I have like five pairs of Jordans in a tub, not in a box, just squished in a closet That's on my balcony. That's crazy. Yeah. Your balcony. Yeah. yeah. There's a closet out there next oh, to the hammock. You won't spend eighty dollars mm-hmm. on a pair of Monarchs. It's crazy. You well, I got those, those Jordans for free. For free. I tell you, I don't buy shoes, dude. You need to get some monarchs, though. They don't. They don't have my Imagine, size. Dude, first I don't of think all. you'd understand like how much it would complete your look with the jeans. No, yeah, I, I used to have New Balances. I found two, like two pairs of seventeen New Balances at. You know that's the. It's like Ross, but it's Bells. Burlington? No Bells. No. Is it Beals? I don't know. Because it's Bells. And then the logo has like a bell in between the E and the L. And a lot of people say it's an A. So I don't know if it's Beals or Bells. I always say Bells. Never Y'all know what I'm talking about? Mm. No? Okay. I don't then know. I Ross, digress. Burlington, that store, Marshalls growing up was like the spot to go for shoes. Because no, you can't Marshalls, find bro? 16s. Marshalls 18s for Braun. Dude, Ross. Ross, Ross is, is the best. best. You go in, they got Ross like 24s. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, when I, uh, when I lived in Orlando... There was a Ross, it was like a Ross outlet. And they said, like, in the peak during the summer, they'll do a million dollars a day. Wow. And that's, that blew my mind. That's crazy. But yeah, so I got, I had New Balances and I loved them, but they just got old. I had a pair of white New Balances. Uh, new and balances I, wore them, I wore them to a visit on Georgia, to Georgia. And all the coaches were like, what the heck are you wearing? <laughs> yeah. That's how people talked about me when I went on visits. Yeah. New Balances are awesome though. They're really comfy. Oh, New Balances are the best. Yeah. If I had to, if I had to get my own like designer shoe, New Balance. I'd sign with New Balance. I'm so glad we're out of that stage where like people like think it's not cool to wear like not Nike shoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can wear whatever you want. It's like okay. You Nike's know, just hurt my feet. Crapped on. Nike suck, man. They're so like they're so narrow. I know. Yeah. For like a normal person, they're a good shoe. A pretty good like shoe. for O-linemen, we have very fat feet, very wide feet. Mm-hmm. They don't fit. Are you a big shoe guy, Taylor? He's I'm not drip, like... The drip master. Stop it. Ooh. I'll say like I'm big shoe guy, but not that big. I mean, I would say medium. I'm not going to pay no like crazy amount for a shoe. But yeah. I'll pay. I'll spend a little bit. Just a little something. But nothing too crazy. I like like shoes I've never seen before. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd yeah. rather I'd rather have a plain shirt, plain jeans, and some really good shoes than a designer shirt. This is a designer jeans. The whole designer mm-hmm. thing makes and no sense to me. Air Force ones yeah. or something like that. Costs like pennies on the dollar to make, and then you sell it for four thousand dollars. Facts. Like, That's ridiculous. Mm. Like Lululemon, bro. Why, <laughs> bro. why? Why is it like a hundred dollars for a no pair of shorts? No. Why is it like fifty bucks for some socks? That's, yeah. They only mm. go to like XL. Yeah, Fugs. Did another thing during COVID? Walmart had some really good clothes. Walmart, Dude, Walmart has really good clothes. Is where it's at. Oh yeah, the George, the George, George collection. I, George. I want to get sponsored by George. I want an nil deal with George, hey, George himself. Come on. Yeah, George. George. I'm huge and one guy. It's the only underwear I wear. Like, they have like the best, mm-hmm. best underwear. It's great. And one. It's great. <laughs> Come on, dude. Because they had a, uh, they had like, um, you all know what chubbies are? The yeah. shorts. Mm-hmm. So they were they were longer than chubbies. They like went to, like a couple inches above the knee, and they were drawstring but like khaki shorts, but mm-hmm. not. Khaki. I'm doing a terrible job of explaining this. <laughs> they had those shorts, and then they had like V-neck tees that were like lightweight. V-neck. The the t-shirts were three dollars, and the shorts were five. That's crazy. I got some George brand pajama pants. Mm-hmm. Softest, lightest weight pajama oh, yeah. pants ever. Speaking of three to five dollars, like looking at prices just like four or five years ago compared to now, like they did a thing like the average house costs now. It's like three, four hundred thousand dollars, and you go back like five, ten years ago, it was like hundred, 
50. Yeah. It's like crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Then another thing that showed like how long it takes a comp- like certain companies to make a billion dollars. It's like Amazon takes like seven hours. Apple <laughs> takes like one day. Like cat construction equipment takes like two days to make a billion dollars. It's crazy. Like how in mm. revenue. Crazy how much money these companies are making. Walmart's like two, three days. If that I think yeah. Walmart's it's like a day or two. I'm pretty sure Walmart's still the biggest company. And like biggest is in size and yeah. everything. Because uh, in one of my classes, they showed a graph, and it was, it was like scaled down from like number three. It was like number like the third largest company in the world, and the rest, and they were all like, like there was still a big jump, but they were pretty even. And then when you add in Walmart and Sam's Club, it moved number three. It went from like this to like that. That's crazy. And then Walmart was through the freaking roof. Yeah, that's crazy. Shout out Walmart, well, and Bentonville, Arkansas. Really shout out They're. Uh, they're turning the like the first Walmart location in Bentonville into a museum. Yeah, dude, I'm so bummed because when I first moved here, I wanted to go to the Walmart museum, and they had just closed it yeah. to renovate it, and so I still haven't been. Oh, so it was already a museum. Oh, that's cool. Well, it was like it was like, it was like a went, small. Shoot. They they're like updating it and making it like an actual museum. I think it was just like a walkthrough, but I never went, so I can't really speak on this. If if you've been to the Walmart Museum, add in the comments what oh, it, it what it looked like. One what rate one to ten. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we really straight off of football. Oh, I like good. I like how that's it good. yeah that's naturally. Good. I feel like this is more entertaining than just like, yeah. yeah. Just so y'all know, we have this. no plan when we start these. Yeah. Well, like we have a general. Yeah. I told him I wanted we we should talk about how spring ball was in the upcoming season, and that's literally the only thing I said. <laughs> That's okay. So if you like this uh, random yeah. conversation, natural flow, let us know because so uh, just so y'all know, we have two weeks left before finals and then uh, we have a finals week and then we get some time off in May. So there'll probably be, there'll be an episode, well this episode that you're listening to. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, next week, we're hoping to get another episode. Uh, just depends on player schedules and if they have to study for finals or they have to do anything for school because school comes first. Student, student athlete. athlete. Student first. There we go. Shout out to Bob. Yeah. And then um, uh, we're probably going to take a hiatus while people go dude, on vacation, go on back that home. Hiatus word, dude. Oh my God. Wait, well, yeah, but this is the first time I've used it with In the this meantime, audience. We <laughs> we're going to take a quick hiatus. hiatus. Before we started this, he was just using big boy words. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I got to speak the lingo. I'm talking to John Neighbors. Man's a Northwest Arkansas radio legend or Central. Is it Little Rock Central Arkansas? I think it is, right? You would know. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Sort of northern. Like northern Ra- Arkansas northern radio Central. legend John Neighbors. I got to use big boy <laughs> words. I got to act like I know what I'm doing. There we go. I mean, he's letting us use his studio. I got to make out. it worth his while. Shout, Shout out John, John Neighbors, Neighbors Natty State Sports. There we mm-hmm. go. Dude, that's a cool name. Natty State. Natty State Sports. That's a really cool name. I like Pretty that. Tough. They got a cool logo, too. Yeah. Because that's the, that's the flag, right? Yeah. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> Where? Right there. You can't see it. Oh, I can't see it. There's a flag. Oh. Well, that's not really. You can see it in uh, Addison's, Addison's camera. Uh, the edge of yeah. it. Anyway, yeah. So <laughs> we're going to take a break uh, for the month of May. Hiatus. And then after Memorial Day, we should get back to it. And hopefully having some updated uh, conversations and anything y'all want to hear that we're not talking about, or if you want to see a different uh, just style of yeah. podcast, uh, we're hoping. Comments below. Yeah. Comment, like, subscribe. All that. Do you mm-hmm. subscribe on YouTube? Yeah. 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 Like, subscribe. And then um, I'm thinking about branching out and doing like, uh, like O-Line movie night where we all watch a movie and then we discuss it. Oh, Ooh. that's great. Yeah. Tough. And then, oh, we can do it in the uh, players' lounge in the theater room. It's tough. I don't know how we record while we watch it, so it's like. Uh, oh, it's gonna be like a. What's that? Uh, live stream. Set us, yeah. Oh, live stream. <laughs> we'll watch a live stream. Like I don't 12 know. Twelve fat dudes watching. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, man, they're, they're eating, the eating more snacks than I want you. 
Dude, because there's some there's some good movies that the airline hasn't seen, like Fight Club. Have y'all seen Fight Club? Yeah, I need to rewatch it because yeah. it confused me. But man, that's a good movie. It's a good. Have you seen Fight Club? Mm-hmm. All right, we need to watch Fight Club with. Let's get it. We need to watch Dune Two, Fight Club. Have you seen The Patriot? Mm-mm. Patriot, life changing American movie. Ooh, Saving Private Ryan. That's a good one. That's a good one. Watch. Yeah. Dang. Never what was that one movie it. that? Uh, it was about World War Two or something like that. And um, no, you know what I'm talking about? It was <laughs> <laughs> movie about World War Two. You know what I'm talking about? What is it? Like All Quiet on the Western Front. All Quiet so on the Western know, Front, they, dude. Watch All Quiet on the Western Front with English subtitles and the original German. My cousin made me watch it. Top five movie experiences, like at home movie experiences of my life. Wow. It's fantastic. There's some good war movies that like I can go back and like scrap out of the Mm -hmm. playbook in the back of my head. Let's see. What's another good war movie? There's some good. I mean, Apocalypse Now, but uh, my dad always says you only need to watch the first half of Apocalypse Now. Oh, Dunkirk. Dunkirk, Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, they're um, they're re-releasing a bunch of Nolan's movies at Regal Cinemas. And the nearest Regal to Fayetteville is like an hour and a half away. Or no, was it 1917? Are you talking about 1917, like the continuous the shot? Where I had the continuous shot? Yeah, that's 1917. Yeah, that one. That one's cool. Yeah. But yeah, so they're re-releasing Nolan's movies. So they started with uh, Dark Knight, and they're doing... I don't know if they're doing Dark Knight Rises, but they're doing like uh, Inception, Interstellar, oh, Dunkirk. You guys are going to kill me? Never seen Interstellar. You've That's never absurd. seen Interstellar. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, no, have you seen Interstellar? Oh my gosh! All right, we're watch Interstellar with you. Let's get it. Have you all? Um, all for it. Have you ever seen the Covenant? No. What Covenant? What's Dude, that about? It's a war movie, bro. It's good. So this oh, just has good. no meaning to you, this song? No, nah, I mean like, I know what it's from when I hear it. Just brings out so yeah. much, so much Dude. emotion in you. Yeah, like tears. Yeah. You gonna <sighs> cry? <laughs> Dude, I'm getting, Dude, I'm getting that is like a masterpiece. I'm getting of goosebumps. A movie. Well, Anything Christopher Nolan Brooks. touches is just like a masterpiece. The oh. way he does his movies, like with with film, yeah, mm-hmm. is unreal. Dude, he's top three for me. He's top three directors. Yeah. Him, Tarantino, and Guy Ritchie. And then if you have like mm. Hans Zimmerman and John Powell doing Ooh. the soundtracks for the movies, oh, instant. It, it's is that Bizarre Eats? That's just a joke for my dad. Don't. No. Um, oh, no. <laughs> hey, Papa Braun. Does so your dad Papa. watch this? He does. My mom watches I think. This. I don't know if he watches the whole thing. I mean, they're pretty long. I think my mom watches the whole thing. Dude, you know uh, our biggest t- target audience is the uh, the Baptist women at my hometown <laughs> church. They, they love this podcast. There we go. I was sitting in Nukes the other day with uh, Luke Brown, and there was this, I don't know, I think every week. There's this group of like, uh, not like crazy old, but probably like 60 year old women who eat at nukes. Dude, you're about to get like blasted in the comments. No, but they People are like, 60's 60's not old. 60 years young. All right. 60, 60, 60 new 40. Women, and they talk about like, like recent like football news. Mm-hmm. Like uh, the, the other week, they were talking about how the tweet John Daly put out about the like uh, quarterback and the O line. Like, I think O-linemen should be getting way more money. And I was sitting back and they had like no idea who me and Luke were. I was like, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, that, that tweet made me laugh because I was, <laughs> my first reaction was like, wait, 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 hey, let's not get rid of the free food. Yeah, what are you yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. We're, we're not, we're not, we're grateful for the barbecue. Yeah, we're, yeah. We love the barbecue. Love we love it. Right hey, barbecue. sponsoring our Bible study, man. Love, there we go. We love Shout right out right. 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 I wore my shirt Shout last episode right. and I accidentally I ripped the collar. Did I get it? Because you know, like when you get those threads and you're like, oh, this thread doesn't, it's not important. So you just rip it out. Dude, I tore the hole. It's from like here to here. That's why last episode I had my mic like this and I didn't move (laughs) so that you couldn't see the big hole. That's that drip. That's fashion. That's that fashion. You're one of those people that would talk about like thread count in a blanket or in a bed sheet. Yeah, Egyptian cotton, hands down. You just opened up a whole new can of worms. (sighs) We're going to take a hiatus to get some Egyptian cotton. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, I gotta have the right pillowcase for my purple pillow. Dude, silk, way to go. Did you get silk your pillow? Pillowcases are great. No, they don't do wall anymore. Oh, dang. 
Yeah, because yeah, the guy told me. I get the pillow. I'm telling you, you got to get a silk. Well, I mean, they probably. He said, he said, I'm going to do this until corporate says I can't do it anymore. Well, they never told him no. He said that he had the wall, and then he like went on a trip or something. And then when he came back, they had come and like put a wrap over it. So he said, the wall's still there. It's not painted over, but they like put a sign over it. Uh, so it's like covered. Without like him that knowing. Sucks. Man. Kind of we should go back and be like, start a new wall. We just go in and, and then take we'll the be like, how oh, we get a new pillow? Uh, but uh, here we've been talking about movies. What's what's your yeah? What's your uh, what's your hobby? What's your what's what's the thing that you could talk about for an hour? For an hour, probably music. Music, probably music. I'm a big bowler. Excel, access, finite. Right, so. <laughs> yeah, not that, not that. All right, what's your what's your music? What's your go to? So. Honestly, I. I know everything, but like alternative, like I listen to everything. You don't listen to alternative? Mm-mm. Dang, that's like the only thing I listen to. I don't know. You Checks play, out. you play Drake around Taylor, and it's a different beast. <laughs> All right, chill. Man. You like Drake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Drake's. I think Drake's hard. Old school Drake. I can get down. What's that? Uh, what was that one song Drake had in 2016? God's Plan, Hotline Bling. Yeah, Hotline Bling. I'm not gonna lie. I've never been more impressed when like I, there's not been a single Drake song. That I've played that he hasn't known every single word to. I tell you, Drake. I'm Sorry. Like every single word to the song <laughs> to, to the like so T. He your knows every word. Top three artists. Then. Top three artists. You can be any genre you want. Drake, Drake, Drake. Hold on, let me look. Book bag, book bag 2.0. Rod Wave number one. Ooh, solid. Everybody likes Rod Wave. That's good. Number two. Big X to plug. Either Drake or J Cole. I gotta have, hold on. Yeah, Rod Wave does Hard on Ice, right? Mm-hmm. I like um, I like that song. Number three, this field. <laughs> I would say, this is like old school. I would say Lauren Hill. Hmm. Okay. Lauren Hill. She goes crazy. Nice. R&B. Mm. These words. R&B. Badger. Badger. Natalie. Yeah. She's got some bangers, man. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Classic. I'm always a little should late. We put the, should we put the audience on? Audience our, on to what? Our outro, outro yeah, that'll song. be our outro song. Yeah. Do we get copyrighted or anything? I don't know. I did play cool If they want to listen to <laughs> an hour and seven minutes of us talking before we play a copyrighted song, Natasha and then they copyright Bettingfield. us, okay. That's okay. Yeah. Go for it. Natasha Bedingfield, man. She's got it going on. Mm-hmm. So I'm always a little late to pop culture. It's okay. So um, <laughs> I got I got into Juice World, like wow, that's crazy. <laughs> eight World. eight months after he passed away. <laughs> It'd be like that though. It'd yeah. Like that. So like uh, I had a center who really liked, or one of my roommates and a center really liked Robbery, by Juice World. Mm. So I got like into that song a lot, and I tried to branch out, but then there was like. I felt bad, so I just oh. stopped. Like, I ain't know Nipsey before he died. Mm. Then I listened to him after he died. I was like, he's pretty good. Pretty I good. Just pop smoke. Pop smoke, R. too. He's pop smoke. R.I.P. R.I.P. He had some good stuff. He did. Let me, see, let me see if I know any of his songs. While we're taking that hiatus, we're going to put the crowd on uh, hiatus. these words. The hiatus. I like this. Yeah, this is tough. I'll just wait. Yeah, yeah. It's a classic. Yeah, there you go. Just put me on. That's like top three Just in the rotation right now, man. Yeah. Who is that? Whenever we get our hands that's, on that's Badger and uh, Badger. Badger, Natasha Bedingfield. Yeah. Whenever Featuring. we, whenever we get our hands on the the 
ox in the locker room. People know it's us. Yeah. People know it's us. Is that these words? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's she originally had her song yeah. "These Words" and then Badger remixed it. Oh, okay. So All right. Like, I was, was like, that does not look like a Natasha. The the real song's tough too, dude. Been playing that. We've been playing that for sure. Great songs. Unwritten though, you can't go wrong. Unwritten's so tough. Unwritten's really tough. Unwritten's really good. Have you heard Unwritten by? You played it. No yeah. car. You probably heard it. Oh, yeah. You played this one a lot. Yeah, it just recently was in the, the movie. You um, played this after the scrimmage the week before the spring game. Yeah. Yeah. It was just in a movie. I forgot the name of it. It was a rom- rom-com. It was really good, though. Dude, I love a good rom-com. I agree. Rom-coms okay. are really good. So what's your, uh, what's your guilty pleasure music? Oh. Uh, you put on some T-Swift. Rock out of like Carly Rae Jepsen. Carly Rae Jepsen. Call me maybe. Mm. Dude, my brother showed me a. Uh, Let me see. It was a Nine Inch Nails Carly Rae Jepsen mashup with Call Me Maybe and Head Like a Hole. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Banger. Nice. I don't think I have oh, it. You know what we need to put the audience on? Peso. Oh, yeah, a little doble pe. Mm. Mm. Peso. Dude, I would say they probably already know who he is, but not the demographic. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> well, that's a good question. The Baptists at my church are like, I ain't heard no peso pluma. Peso La- pluma. Los Angeles Azules. <laughs> Dude, it took me forever to remember that. Well, they're they're Hispanic, so it's not the Los Angeles blues. That's what my dad. That's what I thought it was for like the first six months, and then I remember no, they speak Spanish, so it's not Los Angeles, like the city. It's the Blue Angels. Mm. That's even tougher, though. I know, dude. Oh. Los Angeles, Azules, Peso Pluma. Um, who'd you put me on, Fuerza? Oh, um, yeah, um, Fuerza Regueta. Uh, yeah. Tight beat, tight beat. Fuerza Regueta. Harley Quinn. Uh, his marshmallow collab is sick. Like this one. We're not fluent in Spanish. So I don't really know what those lyrics mean. Brown's pretty close to me. I'm sure they slap. Well, well I'm sure. just... <laughs> there's going to be... Speaking of not knowing what they're saying. Some, some, little, some little Razorback fan who like really likes uh, the hogs. And he speaks Spanish. And his mom speaks Spanish. And then he, she just hears that song. And we don't know what the lyrics are, so maybe it's a bad song, and he's just gonna get like chancla thrown at him. <laughs> Plus, like Danish music oh, is man. like incredibly dirty. <laughs> Andreas showed you what yeah. he listens to. Yeah. Dude, every single song, every single song is like out of this world dirty, like na- like crazy stuff. Well, we were listening to uh, uh, it's not seventeen años, but it's diecisiete años, and that song is like. Weird, but it's it's a bop. This is one of the, this is one of the Danish classics. Probably any is. any Danish Bops. people out there, you'll know. Wow, well, what is it? EDM. EDM's fire. All right, let's do it. Dude, you need House, to listen to electric EDMs. I don't know so. if this is EDM, but this Skrillex is. classic. <laughs> he would be a Skrillex guy. You don't like Skrillex? I've never dabbled. My sister likes EDM though. Have you listened to a LCD Sound System? Now, the intro takes like six minutes, or four minutes, so I'm gonna skip ahead. And then it does, so it, it builds for like four minutes, and then it... Makes 
And then it's constant build. I guess you listen to this on like a 13 hour car drive. Oh, dude. Just on repeat. Nah, 13 hour car ride straight Roman history, dog. I respect that. Straight I've got like 20 episodes left. The, uh, yeah, the Goths. Well, the Mongols just showed up, drove the Goths into Rome, and then that's what started the whole thing. So are you only listening to that on car rides? Or do you like um, I used to listen sometimes. to it when I would go on runs. So in December, mm-hmm. I went on a lot of runs, and like I would walk Dottie, and I would, li- I would listen to it. But um, I just don't walk to class as much anymore. Mm. I would do that on walks, but like running, mm-hmm. I just feel like whenever I'm like working out or like running or something, I'm, it just zones out, like the music or yeah. especially a podcast. Like I wouldn't retain yeah. any of that information. Yeah. To each their own. I don't know, music, I can't, my mind doesn't wander with music as much as it does with podcasts, so the time doesn't go as fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I noticed, like, pod, I'll throw a podcast on, like, right when I start driving, then I'll be halfway there, and I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. yeah. This is awesome. It's like time travel. Yeah. Do you ever get into podcasts? Um, I normally, like, watch, like, YouTube podcast, like mm. LeBron James got one. Yeah, it's he was just like on podcast, that like barbershop, like right? Yeah, yeah, it's like a talk show. You know me, that or it's called the Pivot. Mm. Um, it's that. like a lot of NFL Is athletes that the going Grand there. Marshall? Nah, um, the they like broke, like they like broke into like two companies. Like it was first I am athlete, mm-hmm. then I guess they had like a little beef or something going on, and they broke up into two. Two different ways. Hmm. But it's smooth, though. Yeah, some of these, like, comments they have written about, like, the build of these guys is so funny. Build. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think or it's... Wooga Pop Poplar. It says build him. They called one of the basketball players an SEC tailback. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> if that's, like, offensive <laughs> or a good thing. Brick Blankhouse. Brick Blankhouse. Can't say that. Oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> Longer than a Monday? That's crazy. <laughs> Trazerine White, longer than a Monday? Oh, my God. That's Tall crazy. guy. That's crazy. Big wingspan. The prototype. We're looking SEC at the wall behind him. Will Richard. <laughs> yeah. Prototype. <laughs> Mikhail Brown Jones, build. Grown man. <laughs> That's funny. That's crazy. Moses Moody Light. Moses Moody. He played here. He did? Did he? He probably didn't. I don't know what I'm talking about. (laughs) I thought he did. His name sounds familiar. I mean, if you say he did, I'll believe you. I don't know much. Yeah, he played here. Well, I feel like we set a good foundation for the spring. For sure. Mm -hmm. We um, definitely found areas we need to improve upon. Indeed. And I mean that's that's why it's only the spring. We still got still got May, June, July. Actually, technically, we start camp in July. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So May, June, and the first thirty days of July. Yeah. And then camp. I feel like we got we got some work to do in camp, and then I'm for excited sure. for this upcoming season. It should be fun. It mm-hmm. is. It's, it's always. It's more exciting. When you're on a team that you really care about each other. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. And I feel like that's the biggest improvement from last year is that we truly yeah. do care about each other. Yeah. And I mean, not just in like the position rooms, like the position rooms always care about each other, but just outside, like I yeah. have better relationships with the DBs this year than last year, mm-hmm. the safeties, the mm-hmm. agree. linebackers definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I mean, look, QB1 sitting on my podcast. That's, that's pretty cool. cool. I appreciate you for having me, man. Dude. <laughs> Well, I appreciate y'all coming on. Um, is there anything y'all want to leave our audience with before we go on a hiatus? Oh, what should our outro out. song be? Ooh, unwritten. These words are unwritten. Oh, we already showed them these words. We already showed them. Did we show them unwritten? Yeah, show them peso pluma. Yeah, we'll do some peso pluma. Right. Which one are you putting on? Um, let's do. <laughs> I really like La Intacion. Okay. Now we may get copyrighted, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know how that works. Neither do I. We're not gaining monetarily, I don't think. So. Cool. Cool. Sorry, I just or light like an old school YouTube outro. Yeah. Well, thank y'all for listening. August 29th, Thursday night. Thanks for watching the video. Give a subscribe below, a like, thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend, come back next time. And in a second. (laughs) (laughs) Go hogs. Go hogs.